Well, people across the country will soon gather in Muskogee. They're going to bid on the most expensive vehicle the Sheriff's Department has ever confiscated. All new at 10. Two News reporter Casey Wilbuck shows us the vehicle deputies hope will bring in big money to help them fight the war on drugs. This top-of-the-line 2005 RV was confiscated during a traffic stop on I-40 earlier this year. Muskogee County Sheriff's deputies found $380,000 in drug money, most of which they got to keep. And pretty soon, this RV will be on the auction block. Six months ago, Muskogee County K-9 Deputy Jeff Gregg was patrolling I-40 when the driver of this $100,000 RV made a big mistake. When he saw me sitting in the center median, he almost ran into the back of another vehicle. Gregg stopped the vehicle. He soon found a little bit of marijuana and a lot of cash. When you raise the bunk up, you can see that it's pretty open under there and there's lots of space. There was a shoebox right there and it had 16 bundles in it. $384,000 was stashed in the vehicle. The Missouri man driving it admitted it was drug money. While some of the cash went to the DA's office, 280 grand went to the sheriff's office for drug interdiction. That allowed the department to buy top-of-the-line vehicles and equipment. Soon the sheriff's office hopes to get even more money when this luxury RV is placed up for auction. Top of the line. It's everything that you can get on one it has on it. The sale is expected to generate at least seventy-five to eighty thousand dollars. It'll be used for drug interdiction. We'll split it with the uh, the district attorney's office, and uh, it'll help buy more equipment and whatever we need to fight drugs. Part of the money is earmarked for camera systems to go in patrol cars. It will also pay to train more deputies to help fight the slew of drugs that law enforcement knows travels I-40, one of the most commonly used corridors among drug smugglers. Now, the RV will be auctioned off at Bartholet Auction Real Estate here in Muskogee on November 20th. Reporting from Muskogee, Casey Roebuck, 2 News, works for you.